what's up guys so i've seen this comment and i want to address the practice uh, i'm not necessarily probably in the person here but our industry is rampant doing this and i understand why people are doing it they're doing it because they have good intentions to try to save their customer money but let me explain why it is so bad all right one because your first thing is you're creating a completely new refrigerant has a completely different enthalpy and there's no way to check the superheat and sub cooling even if you knew the ratio that you mixed it in you don't have a pressure temperature chart second reason is you are probably adding refrigerant in the cooling season and during the peak cooling season it's probably not going to cool as efficiently so you're probably not going to have the same capacity and you'll likely get a call back which is actually even though you had good intentions before you're actually costing your own company money. Uh, another reason is, by in the effort to save the customer money, you probably didn't repair the leak. If you didn't repair the leak, you mixed refrigerant A with refrigerant B, and you created refrigerant C. In the, uh, in the middle of these two calls, refrigerant A and refrigerant B leak out at different rates. So by the time you get back, you're at refrigerant D at this point. It's got a completely new superheat and subcooling uh, temperature glide, it's a new enthalpy, and if company B has to come out there and look at it, when they look at it, particularly if it's really, really low on refrigerant, they're not gonna know that you mix refrigerants. So them doing the correct procedure and just adding R22 isn't gonna solve the problem either. So. You you're trying to save your company money, but you're probably going to end up costing them money on a callback. You're also making it more difficult for the next person to come behind you to repair it. And even furthermore, you're doing your customer a disservice because it's likely not going to cool the way it's supposed to cool during the peak season. So for those reasons, let's get out of the habit of doing that. And, uh, you know, if they can't afford R22, pull all the refrigerant out, put something in there, label it, put how many pounds you put in it, etc. And uh, let's quit making it difficult on everybody. Thanks for watching. More tips and stuff. Like and follow. See y'all in the next one.